full self-driving beta okay full self-driving enable we got chill average assertive um i guess i'll leave on average for now because i don't really know what to expect and uh, let's give this full self-driving thing a go so they just gave us full self-driving and all right, you ready to try full self-driving for the first time? <laughs> are you excited or are you nervous? Nervous. So let's see. Okay, so we just enabled full self-driving. You go here, autopilot, full self-driving beta is on. So I don't know how to activate it necessarily, but I think it's, I'm in my garage. So I guess we'll see what happens. And drive. I think it's almost like autopilot. Well, is it supposed to just go by itself? Oh my oh. gosh, it is driving. Oh. This is the first time I've ever done autopilot before. And it's. Oh wow, it has the camera. Oh, it's, oh it's signaling left. I'm like, okay. Oh, there's a car right there. Oh, okay. No. This is the first. I've oh. never. <laughs> oh what do you think? Brady's going to hit a car. Wow, this is the first time. Like, uh -oh. uh, Why is it parking? Oh. Where are you going? Okay, so I just activated autopilot to go to a store down the road and it pulled out of the garage and now it just parked. So, oh no, now it's going again. Okay, it's it's driving. Wait, can, can I hold the phone so you can have the steering wheel just in case? I'm, I mean, I'm right here. I can grab it, but I'm just... uh. I'm letting it do its thing. I've never used this before, ever. I'm gonna be very careful. It's be oh, what's what's it want me to do? Um, I don't know. Put your hand on the steering wheel. I don't like that. <laughs> the, we the car is I'm literally sweating. driving us. I'm already sweating. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the car is literally just driving us. I'm more uh, nervous because you. <laughs> And I haven't, by the way, I'm in a 2023 Tesla Model Y long range, and my wife is scared. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going. We're, um, I'm, I got it, I got it. Pay attention to All right, so we're at a stop sign. This is crazy. I didn't think my car would drive us. <laughs> look at, look at his jerk in the steering wheel like that. You see that? Yeah. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> Uh, well, just wait until you get on a major street. I know. <laughs> um, Turn left onto West Surprise Farms Loop North. All right, at a stop sign. I mean, I don't want to touch the steering wheel. Okay, look at this, by the way. This is different. I don't want to touch the steering wheel if it's turning. Um, I don't know why it's beeping because I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, but I don't want to mess with it like as it's turning. But if you look at this, this is obviously new. I'm not used to that. We're stopped at just cruising at 35 mile an hour. You seem scared. I am scared. Why do you seem so scared? We're we're good. Your hand is the We're good. So we're rolling. We're at 25 mile an hour. I'm gonna get that. It's first time using full self driving. Is using the turn signals? No. Look at look at this. Ooh. It took a wide turn. Oh look, it's going into the right lane. <laughs> I've I've never used this before. So I I was never going to get this upgrade ever, but this is a free trial that Tesla gave us, so I figured I'd use the free trial. So where are we headed? Um, we're gonna go to the store down the road. Ace Hardware. We're gonna go just. All right, so we got a red red light, right hand turn at a red light. It's acknowledging that. It's creeping up. Look at how it's janking the steering wheel. It's going. It's going. It's changing lanes. It's pre it's prepping for the next corner. Look at this. Wow. It's prepping for the next corner. Wow, this is this is crazy. There's a car up ahead. <laughs> oh, this is kind of wild to me. 
Oh, like it's prepping because it knows we're gonna have to make a left hand turn, so it's yeah. prepping by going on the left side. Really cool. It it breaks. breaks. It breaks harder than I break though. I don't break that hard. It's kind of. This is a little bit more advanced. If you look at the screen, it's got a lot more detail than the. Oh hey, whoa 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 whoa. Oh no. Oh no, we just it kicked got me booted out. out. It kicked me out of auto. Why? It wants you to hold your hand on the steering wheel. It's got to feel that. Yeah. I don't know why it kicked me out of autopilot. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. So, I guess this is what happened. Um, I didn't know this, but even in full self driving, you have to always be touching the steering wheel. And I know that on auto on autopilot, but. When it's turning, I feel a little like less comfortable grabbing onto the steering wheel when it's turning because I don't want it to just pull out of it just like autopilot does. But um, it kicked me out and I got a strike and I never gotten a strike before. So, you know, I don't want to get three. five strikes and get a timeout. So, For a week. yeah. So we're going to park. Well, I guess we did park and we're going to try it again and see what happens. So, are you sweating? I was sweating. <laughs> Skin's sweating. <laughs> Sweaty. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. We parked, went to the store. Now we're going to give this a second go. We're going to try it a second time. Make sure I'm touching the steering wheel the entire time. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, let's try. All right. So for this, we're going to try. I'm just going to put in... I don't know, a Starbucks right across the street. So I'm not going far. I'm trying to, trying, trying to not get a second strike by going right down the road. So, okay, let's give this a go. Put in drive. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. <laughs> like, what is it doing though? I must still keep my hands on the wheel and it's jerking like crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> It's jerking like crazy and it wants me to keep it's the signal. Look at okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep pressure on the wheel because Okay, so now we're gonna come to a spot where people are crossing the road. We got a baby. Oh all right, I aborted. I aborted because I don't know where it's going. It's taking me and there's a car right here. So. Yeah, car and I, a I aborted. Stroller. I aborted full self driving because out that, of safety. That was kind of an odd spot, and it was just jerking around doing some weird stuff. So, I'm gonna try to engage again. Oh, All right, so it's going again. Please don't hit a curb. There's a curb right over there. Oh, now it's freaking out. It's okay. I'm too close to that curb. <laughs> I was too close to the curb, so I aborted again. Let's try this for a third time. Let's try this for a third time. Okay. Please don't hit any curbs. Please don't hit any people. I'm getting hot in here, so I'm gonna turn on my air conditioning. My hand is, I'm paying attention. What is he, what is he yelling at me for? All right. So it's not in the right, there's a turn lane over here. It's not in the right position, but okay. We'll see what happens. Yeah, this is the turn lane to make a Oh, there's a car, the car coming to my left side. So oh, now, what? because of autopilot, I once again had to abort. That's three times. Oh. So I, I can't. That's rough. I can't let it do its thing if it's not in the right position. Autopilot disengaged. Okay. We're going to try this for what, a fourth time? Yeah, but maybe we should end the trip. N no, I'm, it's got to get us to a Starbucks right across the street. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're trying to get it to go to Starbucks. So it had to abort it three times already. Um, because of not the correct position. So let's try this again. We're in full. And it already beeped at me once too. And I don't really know why it's beeping at me. So I think in parking lots and roads that are tight, it's a little, it's not great. It's probably better on the freeway and open roads though. So I'm trying to get it on the road. Let's see. It's, it's really close to the curb over there. Please don't go. There's a car coming. All right. It sees it. And it does it does a lot of jerky when it turns the steering wheel and now I'm not in the right lane okay it's kind of zig zigging back and forth 
And then I think and now it's going to go into the turn lane. Now turn left onto West Whew, Are we good? Are we safe now? That it make it. We're on the road and we're in the right position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you nervous? I feel better now. <laughs> we're, we're sweating bullets we turned the ac up higher because we're getting hot <laughs> because we're getting anxiety uh, but it does a lot of like herky jerky with the steering wheel it doesn't it doesn't turn smoothly have you noticed that mm -hmm. all right off we go it wants to take kind of a wide turn positioning for a turn up ahead Please don't hit the motorcycle cop ahead of me. That'd be a bad day. In 500 feet, turn right. Um, stopping, right hand turn, red light. Please stop. Now it's inching forward. And I'm not turning, I'm just touching because I don't know what it's doing. So I should be turning in here. Oh, it's going. Let's see, what does it do when it gets here though? Does it find parking? Ooh, it's gonna go through the drive through Oh, no, look, it's going. Where's it going? Is on the right. It's what? taking it, oh. oh. Oh, it's parking, parking us. us. It's parking us. But we're parked really crooked. What? <laughs> oh, hold on, I'm gonna put it in park. Let me just show you. Autopilot navigation complete. I said autopilot disengaged, what happened? So it parked us right here. This is, it got us here. Let's just take a look at how it parked us. But it might've parked better if we waited. No, it stopped. So it got us here, but it kind of like just parked us like this. So, I mean, I guess that's better than nothing. All right, so we are, I'm driving now. I'm not in, in, full self driving or anything. I'm going to get a drink at Starbucks. We're we're going to try to give it another shot because I don't know if I'm jumping the gun on things, but um it parked really bad. It's kind of nerve-wracking in tight situations, but maybe we're going to put in something else in the navigation that's going to take us further. I think when it's on the road, it's good. When it's in tight places, parking lots, crossing over traffic, that's when it kind of struggles. Um, and the parking was interesting. So wherever we go, I want to see if it can park again because that was that was nerve wracking. And there was a lot of parking spots, luckily, because I'd be nervous if it was tight and there's no parking spots. I don't know what the car would do. So let's get some coffee. Let's try it again. All right, so we're gonna give this a go again. We got our <laughs> arch caramel frap. So I put in in the navigation. Um, I want to do a little highway driving. So. It's just going to go down a couple miles into a pretty busy complex down here, and it's going to try to park. So let's see what it can do. So I'll put it in drive. Um, and obviously I'm not parked well right now, but let's wait until... There it goes. That popped up right there, meaning I can do it. So if you want to take the helm, let's see what happens. Do you want it on white screen? Sure. All right, so it's doing its thing. I'm, the jerkiness is on its own. Look, look at this. But I'm trying to hold it just so it doesn't kick me out. But this jerkiness is is kind of crazy. There's a car coming. Uh, I should see that car. There's another car across. I think it sees that car coming. Okay. All right, positioning. It's going in. All right. We survived. Just, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to confuse it intentionally. I'm just trying to see what it does in, you know, from parking lot to parking lot. So it stopped at the stop sign, which is good. And then it slowly eases forward. Kind of like what you do when you're actually just driving. Oh, it's positioning itself. Oh, Ooh, it got pretty, <laughs> that got close to the, uh, to the curb there. And there's a curb right there. It gets pretty close to the curves, I must say. 
if I get curb rash, <laughs> well, look how tight it takes these corners. But this is all, this is all full. Oh, it's beeping at me. I don't know why it's beeping at me. It's going 25 mile an hour on the on ramp. Come on, send it. Let's go. Come on, there you go. All right. Taking us out to speed. <laughs> See it purging on the freeway. The freeway's open, so that's easy. In one minute, take it. Alright, so we're gonna merge onto Waddell. There's a car over here if you want to see. Let's see what it does. It sees us in a blind spot, it's keeping us right at 65. I mean, freeway driving seems easy, but let's see what it's doing here. It it brakes more aggressively than I brake. I usually let the regen braking do most of the stuff. Okay, now it's switching lanes halfway to turn, okay. I usually let the, the regen braking do most of the stopping. I feel like this starts to use friction brake because it goes more aggressively. All right, it's merging. Wow, it's getting close to that guy. We had a green arrow and it was trying to just nudge and that guy wasn't moving, so. All right, let's see, positioning. Yikes, between lanes, it's making me nervous because the people behind me are trying to pass me. Now it's merging to the right. I'm sure the people behind me think I'm a terrible driver, just straight up, because the lane positioning wasn't that great, but it's it's working. On to North Posada Parkway. So it stops at the crossbars for sure, and then it inches forward. So I guess that's a good thing. Ooh. It gets close to the curbs. Mm -hmm. It gets so close to the curbs. All right, we're getting close to the parking lot. I wonder how it's gonna park. Because the last time it was pretty, pretty awful. Are we still up? No, 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 no. All right. So to be fair, we had the right of way, but that lady didn't fully stop, and then she she looked at us. But to be fair, we had the right of way, but the car almost got in a collision over there, and. It just caused a lot of anxiety. Oh, there's a fence sticking out. There's a the fence road. over here. Oh, no. oh, got kind of close. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh no, what's it doing? It's getting now. It's getting close to the left side. Now turn right. Where does it go? Okay, let's see what it's doing now. Okay. Sorry, I think I'm. Is it gonna turn? I th it just gave up on me. It gave up on me. I don't know what it's doing. Oh my God, it's going left. Wow. What the, what, it was supposed to make a right and it decided to go left. Wow. Why did it decide to go left? It doesn't know how to get there. So I guess uh, to be fair, this is a newly constructed area. Yeah. But it doesn't, and it was supposed to make a right, and it got confused. So, um, I don't know where we're going now. We're supposed to go down down that way. So, I might just abort this navigation and try to go somewhere else that's more developed, I suppose. Okay. All right, we're gonna try this a third time. Let's go into full autopilot. Um, I'm already in the. Oh my God! What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Okay, so I'm I'm now out of full self driving because I don't know what it's doing. All right, so I'm in the road. Let's try to go in full self driving again. See what it does. All right. So it it'll it'll get. I don't know what it's yelling at me for. I was looking at my blind spot. I, <laughs> come on, Tesla. I literally turn to my right to look at my blind spot to make sure I don't sideswipe a car as it's changing lanes. 
and then it yells at me for not looking at the road. <laughs> We're not looking straight ahead. So I'm supposed to look straight ahead when it's changing lanes, I suppose. I, I don't know. Uh, it's, um, it needs some work. I'll tell you right now, it needs some work. It gets you there. It's a, it's still impressive that my car is doing this, but it's uh, it needs some work, so... All right, we're going to go to a Fry's down the road. Uh, it's been developed for a long time. It's not a newly constructed area to see if it can get us there and get into the parking lot. So back on the freeway we go. Turn right to take the Arizona 303 loop north ramp. Back on the freeway we go. I don't, I don't know why it's yelling at me. I'm touching the steering wheel and looking forward. I, sometimes I don't know what more I can do. <laughs> I'm, I'm grabbing the steering wheel, I'm putting input, and I'm looking forward, and it's yelling at me. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto West Greenway Road. Alright, a lot of a lot of brake input, kind of what I mentioned before. It brakes much harder than I do when I drive. Um, it's not just regen braking, it's it's applying friction brakes as well. Alright, let's see what it can do in a fairly congested parking lot. go it takes it kind of wide huh I feel like I'm kind of almost on that lane mm -hmm. it's like 500 feet all right here Turn. we go it's going all right that wasn't too bad that too bad it wasn't too bad now turn left are you nervous yeah so there's gonna be a lot of people crossing <laughs> So this is a left-hand turn, oncoming traffic into a parking lot. Let's see. Uh, let's see what it does. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> like, I feel like it gets so close to the car in front of it. Uh, is it gonna go? I actually would have gone there. I don't. Maybe it's just not gonna go. I wonder if it's not gonna feel safe going. For a while. So we'll see what it does. There's traffic behind us. They're waiting to make a left-hand turn. There's a guy over here waiting to exit the parking lot. It should go after this guy. Oh, look, it's prepping. It's prepping. Hey, hey it went. Okay. Yeah. All right. It prepped. It started prepping and is preparing to go. I like that. Okay, so this is. All right, the so this is a little part. tight. That's tight on this curb. People. Slow down a little bit. There's people walking. It's making me a little nervous. There's a parking stop and there's people walking over here. It's signaling. At a parking lot. I don't know, oh. but it's a. Uh, now your destination is on the left. So I'm I'm still not controlling it at all. I'm letting auto uh, full self drive. I keep calling it autopilot. I apologize. I'm letting full self drive do its thing. It sees pedestrians. It's slowing down. Hey, the guy the guy waved at me like thanking me, but it wasn't me. <laughs> he was waving and thanking. There's another person. Full self drive. Let's see what it does. I think. Is he gonna stop here? I don't know, but there's a guy crossing in front of me here. There's a truck right behind me. I'm I'm tempted to get out of full self driving, but it's going. It's going. It's it's maneuvering through a busy parking lot. I mean it's actually doing a really good job. Uh oh. I think I might abort. I don't know. Let's see what it does. It's doing really good. Uh oh, let's see what it does. It's confused. I don't think it knows where to go. Okay. All right. I had to abort. I'm just blocking traffic at this point. So I think it got a little confused because the parking lots uh, are one way. Like you have to enter into the parking spot going one way or exit going the other way. And it didn't know where to go. Do you think it would have parked? I Maybe with those truck behind me that was just waiting and it was taking too long. So I wasn't going to just hold up traffic because of uh, full self-driving. So. I wonder if it has that capability. 
or if it would just stop you right there in front of fries. I, I think like it, here we are. It felt like it was still trying to do something, but it didn't know what to do. Mm. So I don't know if I should give it a go. Should I give it last navigation home? In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. Big off. All right, we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna try to see if it takes us home and what it's going to do. So right now, put it in drive. Here you go. And I'm waiting for it. It's kind of navigate. It's showing me where it wants to go. It's showing that it's eligible for full self-driving. I feel a little odd starting it right now, but let's see what it does. I gotta be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna, okay. I already aborted because there's a van coming. All right, back in full self-driving. This parking lot's a little odd, and I think... Okay, it jumped out. It actually jumped out. Hmm. I think it was too confused. Oh, uh, it wouldn't have, would have made a... Okay, so I did it a favor. Why is it signaling right? No, all right, I got out. It's signaling right when I'm in the left-hand turn lane. Um, oh, because it wanted you to go straight. Yeah, well... All right, we're gonna try this again. So it, I, the parking lot was kind of busy and it was kind of confused. And then it had an issue when I got out, of, you know, onto the street. So I, I, I did a favor. I just got it onto the street and got it going. So from here on out, this should be easy. This should be easy. There's a curve over here when it makes, actually there's a little roundabout. I'm curious what it's gonna do with the roundabout. It's not a real roundabout, it's just basically a median that you have to drive in a circle. We're still going 45 mile an hour and that stop sign's like right there, so look how hard it breaks. Yeah. That's some aggressive braking. We stopped first, but this truck... Oh, it's so... Oh. oh my goodness. It almost hit a curb and then it jumped out. It jumped out on its own? It jumped out on its own because I, I was obviously touching the steering wheel. So, all right, back in FSD. <laughs> We're gonna try this again. It almost hit that curb. It almost gave me some curb rash. Let's see what it does here. It's, okay, it managed. Yeah, managed that was that. pretty good. Three. So it stops early, which I guess is good, um, but it feels kind of super early. And then, oh, it's going straight, all right. So this, from here on out, should be easy. Like this is not, you know. Nope, nope. I'm not doing anything. Okay. But it's like not wanting to go now. Go, come on. It's confused. It's good. like people behind me are, are thinking I don't know how to drive. Oh my gosh. All right, so I jumped out. It got confused. So that was a pretty simple four-way stop, but there was a center median sidewalk and it got confused. So let's try this again. nervous about how it knows whose turn it is. Let's see if it pulls us into the driveway. Okay. Uh, I guess it, it's good that it slowed down a lot. Um, it's going really slow. Street. Um, pretty, I mean, to the point where people behind us are like just kind of tailgating us, but you know, I guess it's whatever. It's got to go into the neighborhood. Destination is on the left. Let's see where it does here. It's a little wonky. Oops. It's kind of doing a little shiftiness. And it just drove by our house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, it's just, it's so confused. It just drove by our house's back like that way. And I don't know what it's doing. It's just kind of. Oh, it's showing here. That it, no. loop. it just totally got confused by our house and now it's just it's good look at it it's like computing trying to figure out what to do <laughs> i don't i don't know what it's planning so it it passed our house and then it rerouted around the corner 
and now it's just now it's just sitting here like but it's still slightly moving it's like twitching the steering wheel is like twitching trying to figure out what to do what do you think <laughs> should, interesting. Should, should I give it more time or should I keep letting it twitch I think it's like dead now. It's it's saying I got you close enough. So, but it's still moving though. Like the steering wheel is still like moving a little bit. <laughs> so the the positioning isn't the best. So like it was it was we we're supposed to be making a left hand turn and it decided to put us on the right side exiting and a car started a car went in the correct left hand turn. So it's like now we're trying to we're kind of in no man's land, mm -hmm. um, and that's not a good thing. Um, it t when it takes corners, I'll say a couple things. When it takes corners, it's almost too close to the curb. So like when it's making like a right hand turn, I I'm very uh, conservative with my turn. I don't want to get like curb rash on my tires. Like I never do. I hate saying never, but I don't touch curbs. So I'm getting extreme anxiety when it's taking a corner and I'm like right next to the curb. That I actually aborted full self driving a couple times. Um, not a big fan of that um what else um probably being very mindful of when you turn on cell fsd because yeah. if fsd is turned on and it thinks it's routed to go straight but you're you have a, a different way of like getting there you might be in a wrong position so it's going to just cross over lanes of traffic yeah. and it's not going to you know it's just going to try to do what it's doing it holds up traffic if it doesn't know what it's doing stop signs there was uh, a car that technically i think we were correct because we came to full stop but the car kind of slow rolled but they had they were there before us but they never fully stopped and autopilot or full self-driving said it's my turn to go and then we were kind of both in the middle of intersection <laughs> <laughs> and, With and then the, the ladies part. looking at us like we ran the stop sign and our full self-driving is saying no technically you didn't stop we did um it's just it's kind of confused on that and then also Regen braking when I I use mostly regen braking. I barely use friction braking. It doesn't it'll it'll go from 65 to 35 to 20 and like pretty fast So you kind of just you could tell it's it's going on the brakes like it's not like it's just slowly regen braking to a stop It's like pressing it pretty hard. So mm -hmm. um, The steering wheel is really herky-jerky mm -hmm. and it just does some weird stuff mm -hmm. um, The steering wheel does some weird stuff. I don't know what the steering wheel is doing and then not to mention, I don't know, the car yells at you when it shouldn't. It, it was trying to turn lanes. And as it was turning lanes, I glanced to my right to just make sure there's nobody in my blind spot. And the car yelled at me to look forward. And I'm, I'm, I had my hands on the steering wheel. I'm just trying to look over my shoulder and make sure we don't hit a car. <laughs> <laughs> and the car is getting mad at me. So it's very early. Beta is an understatement yeah. i think it's actually kind of dangerous i wouldn't drive like that to be honest with you and you wouldn't want to pay for what is it how much is it 12 12 000 i would not for pay that mm -mm. i'd say it did really good at the fries um though at least it didn't hit anyone <laughs> you know did, it did notice pedestrians it noticed so pedestrians was... well that was a good thing so luckily it didn't hit anybody um but at the first parking lot we were in it kind of like brought us into a corner and I didn't know what it was yeah. going to do. So I had to like jump out of mm -hmm. it. Um, one thing I did like is it stops early on stop signs and then it, it stops and then it inches forward mm -hmm. to kind of get a better view. And I mm -hmm. think that's kind of indicative of how we, we drive, right? You stop early and then you kind of slowly inch forward as you're going to make a corner or, you know, get into an intersection. So it did do that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it did keep its lanes pretty good it kept so anything that was similar to like when autopilot was good so autopilot is amazing i'm mm -hmm. a huge fan of autopilot mm -hmm. um i would you know i yeah i love autopilot it's great on road trips i take it on freeways so anything related to that on the freeway it did great like it was planning to uh take turns ahead of time so mm -hmm. if it's going to make a left hand mm -hmm. turn it was prepping by going into the left hand turn lane early on um, or the, I guess the number one far left turn because it, it knew it was going to make a left hand turn. But I neighborhoods or areas you don't know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's early. It. It's early. I would never pay 
money for it. Never. It's just not worth you that. You think to me. they would? You think they would do more than a thirty-day free trial just for them to have more um, data? I think that's what to it's make for. It better. I think it's it, to be honest with you. I don't know what Tesla is doing, but I think it's for the data because um, they say basically you have to accept that it's going to use your data and then. Every time that you get out of it, it pops up a notification and says what happened and you can press the little button and it lets you record audio and say what happened. So I'm sure it's for the data because you press the button and it says what happened. You could just say like, I don't know, like 15 seconds, like something happened and then I don't know who's going to listen to all those button presses, but it's there. So anyway, I'd be very curious to see what it's like compared to the self-driving ones that are down in Scottsdale. The Waymos? Mm -hmm. Those drive smoother. This doesn't drive smooth. We might have to try one. Yeah, th those from the videos, I've never been in one. Mm -hmm. From the videos, they drive smooth. This one is, it's herky-jerky. The steering wheel does a lot of weird stuff. So it's super early, but I never would have bought it. So I guess thanks for the... Thanks for the free trial. Thanks for the free trial. I probably won't use it a whole lot at all. I want to try the summon button. But I would be nervous to do the self-parking button because it did not know how to park at all. So I don't think I'm going to try self-parking. But anyway. <laughs> all right, <laughs> it sucked. Thumbs down. <laughs> but autopilot, excellent. Uh, autopilot. Autopilot's amazing. So, all right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>